Hey what's up guys, in today's video we're going to be going over some interesting PlayStation news. If you end up enjoying the video, drop it a like and consider subscribing. So the first topic in the video has to do with Silent Hill because the rumors are finally over. Konami officially had their Silent Hill transmission event and one of the biggest things announced was the Silent Hill 2 remake. So we're going to be reading from PlayStation Universe where it says Silent Hill 2 Remake officially announced for PS5 in development at Bluer Team. Konami has officially announced a Silent Hill 2 Remake during its Silent Hill transmission yesterday and the game will be a console exclusive to the PS5 for one year. The game will feature input from famed feature designer Masahiro Ito who previously worked on the first three Silent Hill games, while composer Akira Yamioka will also be involved in the project. As previously reported, the game is being developed by Blooper Team. The debut trailer for the Silent Hill 2 Remake showcased a massive visual overhaul as you would expect. Protagonist James Sunderland seen entering the bathroom at the start of the game. We're then treated to various other locations from the game, as well as dialogue that seems to match the original script almost word for word. And so yeah, I mean, in my opinion, the biggest thing that Konami announced at this event was the remake of Silent Hill 2. Now we obviously knew for a while now that this game was in development because it got leaked out, you know, so we already knew that Bluebird team was working on it, you know, but we finally got to see it for the first time and yeah, it looks really, really good. I'm not the biggest Silent Hill fan. I've actually never played any of the games or watched any of the movies, so I'm very new to this franchise, you know, but I've heard that. Silent Hill 2 is one of the best horror games ever made and so I will be picking this up whenever it comes out. I'm assuming it's coming out next year. They didn't even give us like a release year so maybe it comes out in 2024 or later. I have no idea but I am very very interested in playing this game. You know and as far as this transmission event overall I thought it was pretty boring. You know but that's probably just me because I'm not the biggest fan of Silent Hill like I didn't care about the merch or the movie or any of the other games they announced because they announced like two or three other games and honestly I just don't really care that much I'm just mainly focused on Silent Hill 2 and so yeah what do you guys think down below let me know your thoughts on the Silent Hill 2 remake Moving on to the next topic in the video, we're going to be going over a rather surprising update for Marvel's Wolverine because this is actually coming from Microsoft. So we're going to be reading from PlayStation Universe where it says Marvel's Wolverine PS5 release due in 2023 claims Microsoft. Insomniac Games' upcoming Marvel's Wolverine will launch in 2023 according to format holder Microsoft. The claim was spotted by Tech for Gamers and made during a regulatory filing published by the CMA this week which is currently investigating Microsoft's proposed acquisition of Activision Blizzard. Microsoft outlines a number of exclusives coming to PS5. Quote, PlayStation also has a spate of first and third party exclusive titles lined up for launch in 2023, including Spider-Man 2, Wolverine, Horizon, Final Fantasy 16, and Forspoken, unquote. Sony and Insomniac Games haven't announced any release window for Marvel's Wolverine yet, with the game having been announced last year as being very early in production. Therefore, it's possible that Microsoft's claims were simply made in error. And yeah, I'm going to have to agree with that. Like, there is no way that Wolverine is coming out next year. I mean, don't get me wrong, that would be amazing if somehow Insomniac was able to launch Spider-Man 2 and Wolverine in the same year. But there's literally no way. Last year, whenever they put out the first teaser trailer, we found out the game is in very early production, so there's no way the game's going to come out just two years later after it's only in the early stages of development. So, I mean, there's a very, very small chance that this is true, and Sony is planning on releasing Wolverine next year, but I would say there's like a 1% chance of that happening. You know, I feel like at the earliest, that'll be 2024, and also I feel like that wouldn't make much sense from a business perspective for Sony because Spider-Man 2 is big enough to like be like a holiday game for Sony and so is Wolverine so it doesn't make sense to launch them in the same year it just doesn't make sense and also the fact that we know 
just a year ago it was very early in development like there's there's literally no way that wolverine is coming out next year but what do you guys think down below let me know your thoughts on how apparently microsoft is claiming that sony is planning on releasing wolverine ps5 sometime in 2023 Moving on to the next topic in the video, we're going to be going over Final Fantasy 16 because the game actually got a brand new trailer. So we're going to be reading from PlayStation Universe where it says, New Final Fantasy 16 trailer looks stunning, features action-packed combat. Square Enix has released a brand new Final Fantasy 16 trailer titled Ambition, which offers over 4 minutes of new footage on the RPG including plenty of action-packed combat to sink your teeth into. And so yeah, I mean, I was not expecting square enix to drop this new trailer today you know and the main reason why i even want to talk about this is because you know today is october 20th and earlier this week there was that report coming from milia mond on twitter where she was saying that sony was planning on having a showcase today but because of the microsoft activision drama they ended up delaying it you know and we knew for a while now that sometime this month we were getting a new trailer for ff16 which is what we got today and you know we all assumed that it was going to be showing up at a new sh at a new playstation showcase because the only other times we've seen this game was at a playstation show square enix just dropped it themselves today you know so it just got me thinking like isn't it kind of weird that on the same day that Sony was supposed to have a showcase until they delayed it apparently it's the same day that they drop a new trailer for Final Fantasy 16 it just kind of makes no sense and also really makes me believe that Sony is not having a showcase until after God of War Ragnarok comes out because now I mean they're obviously not having one this week and whenever it comes to announcing a showcase Sony usually gives the fans like a week a week's notice so it's highly unlikely unless they announce it tomorrow for next week which i don't see that happening then they're not having one this month and they're obviously not going to have one next month because god of war ragnarok is going to be the main focus going back to Amelia mon's tweet talking about how apparently at this delayed showcase kojima was going to show up and reveal his new game and something silent hill related was going to show up and you would assume that spider-man 2 would be there you know so it would have been a very very exciting showcase and so it makes me think that they're probably holding off until december now because pretty much everything they're going to be showing is going to be things that are coming out in 2023 and beyond so it honestly kind of makes sense for them to wait until after god of war ragnarok and this kind of confirms that to me but what do you guys think? Down below, let me know your thoughts on this new Final Fantasy 16 trailer. And let me know if you feel like Sony is still having a showcase in 2022. Moving on to the final topic in the video, we're going to be going over God of War Ragnarok because it seems like we now know how big and how much storage this game is going to take up on your console. So we're going to be reading from PlayStation Universe where it says God of War Ragnarok preload is November 2nd, PS5 file size listed as 84 gigabytes. The PlayStation Game Size Twitter account has revealed that the God of War Ragnarok preload date is locked for November 2nd, while the PS5 file size for the highly anticipated sequel is listed at 84 gigabytes for the US and 90 to 100 gigabytes for the EU. The news follows yesterday's leak that the God of War Ragnarok PS4 download size is about 118 gigabytes, which is listed on PlayStation Game Size for the EU version of the game. And so yeah, I mean, we are just slowly getting more and more information for God of War Ragnarok. And yeah, I mean, for those of you that are going to be playing this on the PS4, I hope you have enough space set aside because even on the PS5, this game is absolutely massive. It seems like the PS5 file size is over 80 gigabytes. Now, I don't know if that's after the day one patch or if that's before, but it seems like on the PS4 side of things, after the day one patch, the game will be about 120 gigabytes. So yeah, I mean, God of War Ragnarok is literally about twice the size of God of War 2018, and God of War 2018 is a massive game. I mean, this just confirms that this game is going to be absolutely massive. I mean, there's literally going to be 20 hours of just side content, 
and so yeah i mean i'm just very very excited we are almost there we are officially less than three weeks away from playing this game and i mean the pre reviews go live tomorrow so like there's not gonna be any spoilers but people are just gonna be able to share like their first impressions with this game and i'm not sure if i actually want to talk about it because i honestly don't want to see any new footage i don't want to hear anything about the story or the gameplay so i might talk about it tomorrow but most likely i'm going to try to avoid as much as i possibly can and so yeah what do you guys think down below let me know your thoughts on the file sizes for God of War Ragnarok and also let me know down below if you're going to be preloading the game on November 2nd. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it or found it informative, drop it a like and hit the subscribe button by turning on the post notification bell so you don't miss my next upload. Until next time guys, take care.